Hello, a warm welcome to the western part of Germany. We find ourselves in the city of Leverkusen. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And everyone here on tenterhooks, you'd have to say, with good reason. It's Bayer Leverkusen up against Monaco. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. An exciting game, potentially, ahead of us here. And Monaco get things going. The lineup for Bayer Leverkusen. Lukas Radetzky is the goalkeeper. Jonathan Tarr plays alongside Edmond Tapsoba in central defence. Moussa Diaby plays with Karim Bellarabi out wide. And the striker is the very gifted Patrick Schick. Bellarabi. It's been aimed towards the front first. Kerem Demirbay. Sheik. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. And let's have a look at the Monaco starting lineup. Alexander Golovin plays with Gilson Martin. Derek, this could be a goal here. Tries to lift it. Oh, a finish of real class. No wonder he's celebrating. Take a bow. Well, this is a very good finish. He just does enough to get it over the keeper. He'll certainly be pleased with that. So, underway again here. 1 0 the score. Andri. And possession lost, intercepted. A mischievous effort, a gift for any goalkeeper. Sardar Osmoon. And reading it absolutely superbly. No worries for the keeper. Fofana. Well read to win possession back. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Well, offside, but a tight call. Well, that was really close. It was almost the perfect run, wasn't it? Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Kerem Demirbay and given away by Leverkusen Jean Lucas here's Ben Yadair well he's lost it well Monaco have found it difficult to get control of the ball here but when they have had it they've looked so dangerous particularly when they press high up the field win the ball back in those areas and then counter-attack quickly more defending for them to do here though Patrick Sheik a goal real excitement a back and forth type of game now they're level Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Ganavin. Caio Enrique. Oh, fine play, and maybe it'll set something up. And good pressure high up the pitch. Lucas? Could be! And still an opportunity. 
Danger averted for now. And given away by Leverkusen. And the emphasis is on creativity. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Sardar Osmoun. And he has options available. So, half-time, closing the book on the first half here at the Bay Arena. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, he's certainly got his team back into this game with that goal. Because up to that point, they hadn't played particularly well. I think he's had a decent first half, but he'll be looking to build on his goal in the second... So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Ben Yedder. Yusuf Fofana. Lucas. Could be a chance to break here. And the cross fired over, but no real central pressure applied. And snuffing out the danger. Sardar Osmoun. He read it well defensively. Lucas. And intercepts again. Golovin. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Played over. Well, not cleared away completely. Vital intervention. Must take the lead here. Denied once more. Andri. They're really pressing their opponents. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Defenders need to cover. Chance to put them in front. Well, the keeper committed himself. And they've been getting two substitutes warmed up and both will come on here. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, really, it had to be further away from the keeper. Well, as the stats tell us, they just haven't created enough chances. They need to get the ball into wide areas, get crosses into the box and then get their front players attacking the ball. And struggling even to just get hold of the ball here. Kevin Holland! And the keeper more than equal to the task. With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. And they're going for the short one. Not the best clearance. Well, they survived the attack. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. But nothing comes of it. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Can they take advantage of the situation? And fine work from Monaco to win the ball back. High pressing at its best. Guillermo Maripan. Can he find the right pass? Folland! Oh, a goal! And is that going to be the one that wins it for them? There's every chance, and the fans are lapping this up. Here we see it again. It all started with that superb one-two, and once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? They are making headway, but really they need a goal with time not on their side.
Enrique. Holland. Can he finish them off? Off the post and back in play. Schick. Well, that would certainly have wrapped up the victory. They're not quite home and dry just yet. Well, they can't dwell on not getting the rub of the green. Oh, what a fine save and a timely one, Stuart. Well, that does give them some hope because that would have been the end. And time for the change now. And he's fired over the corner. And just wide of the post with a header. And a fine tackle. Well, they're attacking, but time is the great enemy. Fine cross into the middle. And it's a set to there. Oh, fine stop. A corner then, and with time running out, they've got to ask questions. Keen to take it short here. Deciding to go inside. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances, could have gone either way, but in the end, they will be disappointed. Well, stamping his mark on the game, Kevin Follant. What did you make of him? Well, he gave them a really hard time, didn't he? His speed of thought was excellent, and he took the winning goal so well. He was brilliant today.